couldn't wait to come up here. <laughs> Estaba ansiosa por subir aquí al frente. Oh, good. <laughs> He's a great interpreter, isn't he? He's awesome. Before you're seated tonight, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit, okay? Just stay standing for a little bit. Manténgase de pie un poquito. Each one of us here. Each one of us here. Cada una de nosotras estamos aquí. Is called of God. Es llamado de Dios. Each one of us here is called of God. Cada una de nosotras aquí somos llamadas por Dios. I want you to turn to your sister on your right. Y quiero que voltee a su hermana a su derecha. And tell her you are called of God. Y dile tú eres llamada de Dios. And turn to your sister on the other side. Y voltee a la hermana del otro lado. Tell her you are called of God. Dígale tú eres llamada de Dios. Then I want you to look at yourself. Y luego quiero que te veas a ti mismo. Say I am called of God. Y di yo soy llamada de Dios. I am called of God. Yo soy llamada de Dios. That is such a privilege that God has given us. Y ese es el privilegio que Dios nos ha dado. To be called of God. El ser llamadas de Dios. The Almighty God. El Dios poderoso. He saw fit. Él es fiel. He is so fit. Y él vio to call us. Que era correcto llamarnos a nosotros. Some of us that are not worthy. Algunas no somos dignas. We're not worthy. No somos dignas. To be called. A ser llamadas. To ministry. Al ministerio. It's so amazing to me. Es maravilloso a mí. How he has has saw something. Uh, me asombra cómo él vio algo. And he called. Y nos llamó. And tonight, before I, I actually give you my message that God has given me, y en esta noche antes de compartir el mensaje que Dios me ha dado, I want to read a scripture. Quiero leer un versículo. And it's in 1 Corinthians. Y está en Primera de Corintios. Chapter 12. En el capítulo 12. They'll probably put it on the screen for you. Y yo creo lo van a poner ahí en la pantalla. I gave it to them. I hope they put it up there. <laughs> on the side okay good first Corinthians chapter 12 Primera de Corintios, capítulo 12 and it reads like this y lee de esta manera. yes the body has many different parts Ahora bien, en el cuerpo hay diversidad de partes. not just one part no solamente una parte. if the foot says I am not part of the body because I am not a hand si el pie no dice no soy parte del cuerpo porque no soy mano that does not mean not make it less of a part of the body. Eso no causa que sea inferior en la parte del cuerpo. And if the ear says, I am not part of the body because I am not an eye. Y si la oreja dice, no soy parte del cuerpo porque no soy ojo. Would that make it less a part of the body? Causará que sea menos en el cuerpo. If the whole body were an eye. Si todo el cuerpo fuese ojo. How would you hear? Como escucharas. Or if your whole body were an ear, o si todo el cuerpo fuera oído, how would you smell anything? ¿Cómo vas a oler cualquier cosa? But our bodies have many parts. Pero nuestros cuerpos tienen muchas partes. And God has put each part y Dios ha puesto cada parte just where he wants it. A donde Dios desea que esté. How strange a body would be ¿Qué extraño sería un cuerpo if it had only one part. Que solo tenía una parte. Yes, there are many parts. Sí, hay diversidad de partes. But only one body. Pero solo hay un cuerpo. The eye can never say to the hand. Yo nunca le puedo decir a la mano. I don't need you. No te necesito. The head can say to the feet. Eh, eh, la cabeza no le puede decir al pie. I don't need you. No te necesito. In fact, some parts of the body that seem weakest es más, hay partes del cuerpo que aparentemente son más débiles and least important y menos importante are actually the most necessary. Actualmente son las más necesarias. How many of us are an ear? ¿Cuántos son orejas? How many of you feel like maybe you're a finger? ¿Cuántos se sienten como dedo? Or some of you maybe feel like you're a nose. O algunas quizás son una nariz. Some are nosy, I'll tell algunas you. Algunas sí son poco chismosas. Or that you're a, a foot. 
o or, eres un pie, or a toe o eres un dedo. It, you may not feel significant eh, quizás no te sientes significante. but each one of us Pero cada una de nosotras make up the body formamos el cuerpo. we are called Somos llamadas to make up this body a formar el cuerpo. and we all play our part y cada una tiene su parte. and we don't play our part y si no tomamos la parte, the body can't be effective el cuerpo no puede ser efectivo. I pray tonight you're going to be touched oro esta noche que usted sea tocada. I pray you're going to take your place oro que, oro que tome su lugar. and before I actually preach to you tonight and I have it in me y antes de predicarle esta noche porque está dentro de mí, I have a video I'm going to show you hay un video que le quiero demostrar And these are people in our ministry. Y estas son personas en nuestro ministerio. Some of them you know real well. Algunos los conocen muy bien. They're visible. Eh, son visibles. And some you don't know. Y algunas no conocen. They're behind the scenes. Están detrás del escenario. And they've been there for many years. Y han estado allí por muchos años. Building this ministry. Edificando este ministerio. Taking their place. Eh, tomando su lugar. And I pray you're going to be blessed by what they have to say tonight. Y mi oración es que seas bendecida lo que van a decir esta noche. And I'll come back right after. Y ahorita regreso. Amen. You can be seated. Puede tomar su lugar. Over 25 years ago, I gave my life to the Lord here at Victory Outreach International. And I know that it's the heartbeat of God to get involved in this ministry, to back up our founders, and to get involved in world evangelism. And I just, I really felt the heartbeat of God through United We Can, and I wanted to get involved. I want to be able to help those that need help, just like I was helped through the ministry of United We Can. Within the last six years, the Lord has given me the great privilege of using those giftings and answering the call of God upon my life here at this office. But the greater part about it, I believe, is that I am also part of the process of other people answering their call, whether it be that they're uh, going through the process of getting their credential licensing, or they're answering the call to go take a city, or even assisting in other churches that are already established. And so one of the greatest things is to be able to witness the expansion of our ministry all around the world and to be able to be part of that process is such a blessing and an honor for me. My gifting that I use behind the scenes is media, and I'm the overseer of Victory Outreach International Media Productions. I enjoy it very much because we're able to, to take the gospel to places and people's homes and, and, to, and to, through social media, and it's a tool, an evangelistic tool that we're able to use as a ministry. It's a gift that I discovered many years ago uh, working under my mom, who was producing Treasures Out of Darkness, a, a television program. And I fell in love with it. And I feel that it's a gifting that, and a call that, that God has placed upon my life, and I value it. I, I see it as a, a privilege to be used by God in this area. We usher and oversee uh, many international events and we've been called with a purpose and uh, there's so much work behind the scenes and it takes all of us to come together and I just thank God for the honor of working with Sister Julie and all the women of God and side by side with my husband. Uh, my role here is the international events coordinator and I've had the privilege and the honor um, to grow in this capacity and we created teams uh, with the direction of Sister Julie and Pastor Sunny. Uh, we have matrixes uh, that involve all of our international events and teams around the world and I have the privilege of being able to uh, help coordinate them and develop them and Uh, now, uh, my passion is stronger than ever, and I just love what I do. I work here at Victor Outreach International for the past 26 years, and um, I've been called. You know, God, I, I want to be part, and I love to see in the forefront as souls are getting saved and people are being touched and countries are being reached. You know, I may not be out there, but 
I feel I get I feel the that I'm part of it behind the scenes and I know that I'm in the place where God's called me to be. In the last maybe 10-15 years I've been able to be a part of our international music ministry and I've been able to not only minister in song and sing, but now I've taken on the role as being an admin and administrator in that team in terms of getting the um, meetings together, uh, everything that goes into starting all the preliminaries before we have a conference or a convention, contacting people, um, getting everything on paper and, and then making that come to life. And I get the privilege of being able to teach people the songs, the harmonies, work with ensembles, work with choirs, work with mass choirs. And I'm excited to keep doing the things that God has called me to do and to bring people along with me so that we're training people as we go so the legacy can continue. I don't believe that I'm here by coincidence. I believe that it's part of the call of God upon my life to see souls restored and redeemed by the power of Jesus Christ. We have men and women in our homes all over the world, men and women that have come in broken, they've They've come in stripped and they've come in hopeless. But I thank God that we are in a ministry that believes for their salvation, that believes for their redemption, and believes for God to restore their families as mine was. Never did I imagine that one day I would actually be working with our Victory Homes internationally here at our corporate offices. When I was a young girl, I went to school and my major is international business and marketing never knowing that it would be used for ministry. I always wanted to work in business, banking. Um, I really felt that I had a gift for it, not understanding at the time that it's a call of God that was upon my life. Now, after over 20 years of working with the ministry, it, when, we, when I started, it was very small. It was something that um, there was a lot of development that needed to take place, and I, in myself as well and not knowing the, every step of the way, I had, to, I had to go by faith, I had to go by faith. And my father is a man of great faith. People that know him, people that walk beside him, and people that watch him know that he has big faith. And in order to do what I do, you have to have big faith. So that had to develop in me as well. But first and foremost, I had to understand it's a call of God a call of God upon my life. It was something that I had no idea as a young girl growing up that I would be called to do this. It was something that God had in mind for my life and I walked straight into it. And now today, I feel very honored and privileged to be able to help build this ministry. Build this ministry around the world. I work with all different nationalities, countries, continents building alongside and behind the men of God in this ministry, especially my father, Pastor Sonny, who is the greatest leader and the most visionary and most anointed apostle of our time. I feel very privileged and honored. I know that must have blessed you. Yo sé que eso bendijo su vida to see all the different people el poder ver todas las personas diferentes that it takes que se requiere to make this ministry go forward para que este ministerio avance just to make this convention el, el solo uh, causar que esta convención funcione and be what it is y que sea lo que es it takes a lot of people se requiere mucha gente that have answered the call que han respondido al llamado and there's many of you y hay muchos de ustedes that are gifted que están dotados but you have not answered the call pero no has respondido al llamado these women that you saw up here, y estas mujeres que usted vio aquí, not only a woman, but also David Didia. No solamente mujeres, pero también I David had to put Didia. him in there because he represents United We Can. Tuve que ponerlo allí porque representa Unidos Podemos. They believe in a big God. Ellos creen en un Dios bueno. They believe that he can do anything. Ellos creen que él puede hacer cualquier cosa. They believe that he can be anywhere. Ellos creen que él puede estar en cualquier lugar. They believe that he knows everything. Ellos creen que él sabe todo. They believe that he 
he's omnipotent. Ellos creen que él es omnipotente. They believe that he doesn't change, that he's immutable. Él cree que él no cambia, es inmutable. And if you want to be used of God, y si quieres ser usada por Dios, you've got to see God like this. Tienes que ver a Dios de esta manera. You've got to see him as the big God that he is. Tienes que verlo como el gran Dios que él es. I know, I see him as a big God. Yo sé que yo lo veo como un grande Dios. And, and I see you. Y te veo a ti. E even the ones that don't feel like they can do anything. Aún las que sienten que no pueden hacer nada. I see that you can do anything. Yo puedo ver que usted puede hacer cualquier cosa. If you believe in this great God that we have. Si usted puede creer en el gran Dios que tenemos. Nobody here. Nadie aquí would think that they could be used of God. Hubiera pensado que puede ser usada por Dios. But yet God saw fit. Sin embargo, Dios vio que era bien bueno. And tonight I'm going to challenge you. Y esta noche te voy a desafiar. To serve this God. A que sirvas a este Dios. You say you may say, well, I'm 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 too busy. Uh, quizás digas estoy muy ocupada. Look at these girls that you saw up here. Mira las muchachas que viste aquí arriba. Every one of them. Cada una de ellos, with the exception of maybe one con la de quizás una, is, is a mother es una mamá. and takes care of her children y ella cuida a sus, ellas cuidan a sus hijos. many of them preach the gospel Muchas de ellas predican el evangelio. but yet they have time for much more Sin embargo, tienen tiempo para mucho más. and that's what I'm going to challenge you tonight y a eso le voy a desafiar esta noche. to rise up que te levantes and take your place y tomes tu lugar. Before I get too excited, <laughs> Antes de emocionarme de más, I want you to turn to Ephesians 5. Quiero que vaya a Efesios capítulo 5. And you can stay seated. Eh, se puede senta, quedarse sentada. Ephesians 5, 15 through 19. Efesios 5, del 15 al 19. And this really challenges me. Y es algo que en verdad me desafía a mí. Because these are the last days. Porque estos son los últimos días. And it reads like this. Y lee de esta manera. So be careful how you live. Tener cuidado como vives. Don't live like fools. No como necias. But like those who are wise. Sino como sabias. Make the most of every opportunity. Aprovechen cada oportunidad. And the NIV says redeem the time. En la nueva versión dice redime el tiempo. In these evil days. En estos días malos. Don't act. Así que no seas necias. But understand what the Lord wants you to do. Sino entender cuál es la voluntad del Señor. Don't be drunk with wine. No os embraguéis con vino. No, I'm sure we don't get drunk with wine, right? Y sé que no hacemos eso, ¿verdad? <laughs> Because that will ruin your life. Porque eso va a arruinar tu vida. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. En vez sea llena del Espíritu Santo. Singing psalms and hymns. Hablando entre vosotros con salmos e himnos. And spiritual songs among yourselves. Y cantos espirituales entre uno mismo. And making music to the Lord. Y cantando al Señor. In your hearts. En tu corazón. And give thanks for everything to da, God the Father y da gracias en todo a Dios el Padre. in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ en el nombre de nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Lord I pray that this message oh God Señor, oramos que este mensaje will reach the heart of every woman here toque el corazón de cada mujer aquí. I know you have a calling on each one oh God sé que tienes un llamado sobre cada una. Even, even the ones that feel so insignificant Aún las que se sienten insignificantes. feel that they have nothing to offer sienten que no tienen nada que ofrecer. I pray you will show them tonight Oro que les demuestres esta noche. that you have something great for them oh God que tienes algo grande para ellas, Dios. show them by the power of your spirit Demuéstrales por el poder de tu espíritu. that you want to raise them up que las quieres levantar. to take their place a tomar su lugar. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, Gracias, Señor Jesús, for what you're going to do. Por lo que vas a hacer. Tonight, I want to remind you about something. Esta noche le quiero recordar de algo. That Jesus is coming soon. Que Jesús viene pronto. He's coming soon. Él viene pronto. You don't hear that from the pulpits of today. Ya no se escucha de los púlpitos de hoy. Today it's all about bless me. Ahora solo se trata de bendíceme a mí. It's, it's all about how, how you're going to be all uh, blessed and 
just be everything you want to be. Y, y solo se predica de que usted va a ser bendecida y ser todo lo que usted quiere hacer. But I want you to know that Jesus is coming again. Pero yo quiero que sepas que Cristo viene otra vez. And I believe he's going to come in our lifetime. Y yo creo que va a venir en nuestra vida. And one of the reasons why? Y una de las razones por cuál? Because we see it in prophecy. Porque lo vemos en profecía. Look at Israel. Mira Israel. It became a nation in 1947. Llegó a ser una nación en 1947. We have to keep our eye on Israel. Tenemos que mantener el ojo en Israel. And recently the capital moved to Jerusalem. Y recientemente la capital se movió a Jerusalén. That's very significant. Es muy significante. I get chills when I think about it. E y aún me da escalofríos cuando lo pienso. Then the word of God tells me there's wars and rumors of wars in the last days. Y luego la palabra de Dios declara que va a haber guerras y rumores de guerras en los últimos días. And how many know that there's been wars and rumors of wars? ¿Y cuántos saben que hay guerras y rumores de guerras? Earthquakes in diverse places. Terremotos en todo lugar plagues las plagas what about the coronavirus y que del virus corona famines eh, eh, la eh, hambre It, it's, it's amazing to see that it's all happening more today than ever y es increíble ver que está sucediendo más hoy que en el pasado then the word of God tells me that wickedness will increase y la palabra de Dios declara que la maldad va a aumentar the enemy unleashes el enemigo desata his evil sus uh, uh, maniobras uh, malvadas women marrying women las mujeres casándose con mujeres men marrying men hombres casándose con hombres you know that's accepted today sabes que eso es aceptado and hoy en día you're against it eh, quizás usted se en contra de and eso and you're just not with it eh, no es con eso even the churches today pero aún las iglesias hoy en día are accepting this están aceptando esto tell me if we're not in a wicked day dime que no estamos en los días malvados I pray that you you in your spirit you're gonna feel that Jesus is coming soon yo oro que en su espíritu sienta que Jesús viene pronto we have seeker friendly churches y tenemos iglesias que son amistosas that they preach what you want to hear que ellas predican lo que la gente quiere oír and in 2 Timothy 4.3 it says this y en 2 de Timoteo 4.3 dice así for a time is coming porque un tiempo viene when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching cuando la gente ya no más soportará la doctrina sana they will follow their own desires uh, buscarán sus propios deseos and look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear buscando maestros que les dirán los que sus oídos que tienen comezón quieren escuchar and that's what's happening today y eso es lo que sucede hoy en día They're also, also, there are microchipping. También ahora están poniendo el chip in different countries. En diferentes países. You know, they're putting their identity. Están poniendo su identidad on the hand. En la mano. A microchip. En un chip. And it makes a lot of sense. Y tiene mucho sentido. Because you don't have to carry credit cards. Porque ya no tienes que ta, uh, cargar tarjetas. You don't need a passport. Ya no necesitas pasaporte. You won't need any. Any, anything to, for identity Yo no necesitas nada para identificarte. to show your hand no más demuestras tu mano. and pretty soon it's going to be on the forehead y pronto estará también en la cabeza. I'm telling you the Lord is coming soon Le estoy diciendo, el Señor viene pronto. and you may say well everybody has to hear the gospel before Jesus comes again y usted dirá, pues, todos que el antes de que venga. how many know that with the internet ¿Cuántos saben que con el internet There's not anyone that can't hear the gospel no today. Que no pueda el hoy. I've even been to countries Yo he en where they're very, very poor donde la gente es muy, muy pobre. and they have a little hut y tienen una casita pequeña. But they don't, they don't even have a floor. Y, y no tienen ni piso. But they have an antenna. Pero tienen una antena. And they, they can see television. Y pueden ver la televisión. This is all in preparation. Todo esto es en preparación for the second coming of the Lord. Para la segunda venida del Señor. Oh, when that last person hears the gospel. Y cuando esa última persona escucha el evangelio. We're going to be raptured. Nos vamos a ser raptados. 
How do you live your life? ¿Cómo vives tu vida? Do you wait for Jesus to come? ¿Esperas a que Jesús venga? Man, there's been many times. Ha visto muchas veces. Where I've come home. Donde yo he llegado a casa. And this is the way you should live your life. Y así es como debe vivir su vida. I've come home. Yo he venido a casa. And I'm saying, Sonny. Y, y, y grito, Sonny. And I don't hear him. Y no lo escucho. Sonny. Sonny. Are you here? Estás aquí. And when I hear him say, Yeah, I'm here. I go, oh, y cuando okay. lo escucho decir, aquí estoy, entonces suspiro. He's gonna come. Él va a venir. In a twinkling of an eye. En un abrir y cerrar de ojo. When you may be sleeping. Quizás vas a estar dormida. And one will be taken. Y nos van a raptar. And one left. Y una se va y una se queda. He is coming soon. Él viene pronto. We have to make the most of every opportunity. Tenemos que aprovechar cada oportunidad. We have to redeem the time. Tenemos que redimir el tiempo. He is calling you. Él te está llamando a ti. To take your place. Que tomes tu lugar. And not waste your time. Y que no gastes tu tiempo. What are you waiting for? ¿Qué estás esperando? He doesn't promise that it's going to be easy. Él no promete que va a ser fácil. He tells you to follow him. Él te dice, sígueme. To count the cost. Que cuentes el precio. Take up your cross and follow me. Que tomes tu cruz y le sigas. You don't know how much time you have. Tú no sabes cuánto tiempo tienes. Some of you may not even make it past this week. Algunas quizás no viven ni hasta el fin de la semana. In Job 14, 1 and 2, it reads like this. En Job 14, 1 y 2, lee así. How frail is humanity. Cuán frágil es la humanidad. How short is life. Cuán corta es la vida. How full of trouble. Llena de problemas. I'm going to read it again. How frail is humanity? Este cuán frágil es la humanidad. How short is life? Cuán corta es la vida. How full of trouble? Llena de problemas. We blossom like a flower. Y florecemos como flor. And then wither. Y luego des nos deshacemos, nos marchitamos. Like a passing shadow. Como una sombra que pasa. We quickly disappear. Rápidamente nos desaparecemos. If you think about it. Y si lo piensas, your children tus hijos, they seem like they were just born yesterday parece que nacieron ayer, and now they're all grown up y ahora ya están grandes. They're, they're, some of them are going to school Algunos van a la escuela. some of them are going to college Algunos van al colegio. and when you look at their pictures y cuando ves sus fotos, they were so little estaban tan pequeños. the time has gone so quickly El tiempo se ha ido tan rápido. how did they grow up so fast ¿Cómo crecieron tan rápido? time Grow, goes quickly. El tiempo se va rápido. And secondly, on the scripture that we just read, y segundo, en la escritura que leímos, it says, "Understand what the will of the Lord is." Dice, entiende cuál sea la voluntad del Señor. Do you know His will for your life? Conoces la voluntad del Señor para tu vida? Before this week is over, antes de que se termine esta semana, and maybe tonight the Lord will show you. Y quizás esta noche Dios te demuestra. He He wants you to find your place. Él quiere que descubras tu lugar. We have some women that are here tonight. Y hay mujeres que están aquí hoy. That have answered their call. Han respondido a su llamado. They know God's will for their life. Conocen la voluntad de Dios para sus vidas. What about Sister Chica? Y qué de la hermana Chica? She's amazing. Ella es maravillosa. She was born in Indonesia. Ella nació en Indonesia. She's amazing. Ella es maravillosa. She met Chucky. Ella conoció a Chucky. If I could imitate him, I would, but I can't. Si lo pudiera imitar, lo hiciera, pero no puedo. Sunny does it so cool. Sunny lo hace muy goes, bien. Here we go. But she answered her call. Pero ella respondió al llamado. And she followed him. Y ella lo siguió a To él. Africa. A Africa. She knows her call. Ella conoce su llamado. She found her place. Ella descubrió su lugar. And we have two Girls here tonight, there's many, many here. Y but there's dos. two tonight. Muchachas, aquí hay muchas, pero hay dos más. Crystal, where are you? Crystal, ¿dónde estás? Right here. She's a young girl. Es una jovencita. She's only 33 years old. Solo tiene 33 años. She's been called. Ella ha sido llamada. She already answered the call. Ya respondió al llamado. She was pastoring there in Chicago. Estaba pastoreando en Chicago. But then God called her Pero luego Dios la llamó to go to Amsterdam, Holland a ir a Amsterdam, Holanda, to open a third way 
Life Church. A abrir una iglesia tercera ola. And there's going to be a team around them. Y va a haber un equipo alrededor de we're, ellos. We're going to tear it up over there. Y vamos a abrir allí el campo allá. Matthew, the one that was here on the piano. Mateo, el que estaba aquí en el piano. He's also part of that team. Él también es parte de ese equipo. And there's others that are answering their call. Y hay otros respondiendo al llamado. They don't want to just take their little community. No solo quieren tomar su pequeña comunidad. They want to take a continent for quieren Jesus. Quieren tomar un continente para Cristo. And it's going to happen. Y va a pasar. It's going to happen. Va a pasar. We're going to see them take their place. Los vamos a ver tomar su lugar. Those desolate cities will be taken. En las ciudades desoladas van a ser habitadas. Then I have Taylor here tonight. Y luego está Taylor aquí Where esta are you, noche. Taylor? ¿Dónde está Taylor? Where are you? Right here. She's 28 years old. 28 años. You know where she's going? ¿Sabes dónde va ella? With a team. Con un equipo. They're going to Thailand. Va a Tailandia. Thailand! A Tailandia! Oh, hallelujah! She's following her husband. Está siguiendo a su esposo. She's taking her little girl. Está tomando su niña. To this wicked, wicked place. A un lugar muy malvado. It's, it, it's, it's so full of sin Está lleno de pecado. but they feel a calling Pero sienten el llamado. not just to take Bangkok, no nomás a tomar Bangkok but to take the, all that community Pero a tomar todo ese país. I believe God is going to anoint them Yo creo que Dios los va a ungir. he's going to give them many many souls Les va a dar muchas almas. they're going to be learning the language Porque están aprendiendo el lenguaje. And where do you fit in a, this vision? ¿a dónde encaja usted en esta visión? You have to pray and ask God. Tienes que orar y pedirle a Dios. How does God want to use me? ¿Cómo es que Dios puede usarme a mí? Not everybody's going to be going. No todos van a salir. How many know we need intercessors? ¿Cuántos saben que necesitamos intercesoras? And I believe God is raising intercessors right now. Y yo creo que Dios está levantando intercesoras ahorita. I saw it this morning. Yo lo vi esta mañana. With the, with the gang girls. Cuando las gang girls. They were there before God. Estaban allí ante Dios. They were interceding for their generation. Intercediendo por su generación. And if we're going to take the world for God. Y van a tomar el mundo para Dios. We need intercessors to rise up. Necesitamos que se levanten las intercesoras. It takes a lot to be an intercessor. Se requiere mucho ser intercesora. You have to be right with God. Tienes que estar bien con Dios. You got to get your life together. Tienes que poner orden a tu vida. And you have to find time. Y tienes que encontrar tiempo. You have to get up early in the morning. Tienes que levantarte temprano en la Before mañana. Before your family gets up. Antes de que la familia despierte. You got to go in your little prayer closet. Tienes que ir a tu closet de oración. And intercede. Y tienes que interceder. And you may not be able to see what God does y quizás no puedes ver lo que Dios but, hace but you'll see it in the spirit pero lo vas a ver en el espíritu you're going to see Amsterdam taken for God vas a ver Amsterdam tomado para Dios you're going to see all of Europe taken for God vas a ver Europa tomado para you're Dios you're going to see little little Taylor right here vas a ver a Taylor aquí as she goes out in the streets to witness cuando va a la calle a testificar she's going to be anointed by God va a estar ungida por Dios because of the intercessors por los intercesores we need intercessors to Necesitamos rise up. Que se levanten intercesoras. I know in the beginning of this ministry. Yo sé que en el principio de este ministerio. We had intercessors praying for us. Teníamos intercesoras orando por nosotros. I don't take any credit. Yo no tomo ningún crédito. For what God has done. Por lo que Dios ha hecho. Because I believe it's been through the prayers of the intercessors. Porque yo creo que ha sido a través de las oraciones de los intercesores. And there's many of you that have been called to intercede. Y hay muchas de ustedes que son llamadas a interceder. But you've been lazy. Pero ha sido perezosa. You have not heeded the call no has respondido al llamado I pray that you'll be wooed by the spirit of God yo oro que el Espíritu Santo te mueva and you'll take your place as an intercessor y que tomes tu lugar como intercesora we need intercessors necesitamos intercesoras you know that God has called you to intercede tú sabes que Dios te ha llamado a interceder you know it tú sabes God wakes you up Dios te despierta to pray a orar but you go back to sleep y te duermes otra vez I pray you'll heed the spirit. Mi oración es que 
si has obediente al Espíritu if, if been to be an si has sido llamada a ser intercesora I want you to stand. yo quiero que te pares a special calling for an es un llamamiento especial a sobre special calling. una intercesora es un llamamiento especial and the enemy is going to hit you hard y el te va a pegar. he doesn't want you to intercede Él no que but you're going to do it Pero lo vas a hacer. you're going to do it lo vas a hacer. I want you to stay standing que se mantenga de pie. If you, the girls that are here that are called to intercede y las muchachas que están aquí llamadas a interceder. I want you the girls that are around them lay your hand on their shoulder Yo quiero la, las hermanas alrededor de ellas, mano en this los is hombres. a special calling este es un llamado especial. now I want you to pray for them right now que ores por ellos ahorita mismo. that God would do a deep work in them que Dios haga una gran obra en and ellas. he will use them y que Dios las use to be the intercessor that he's called them para to interceder, be una intercesora. oh hallelujah Lord I pray for every intercessor Lord I pray, oh God, that you'll raise them up, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you'll speak to them. I pray you'll wake them up at night, oh God. I pray you'll wake them up during the day, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you'll just continually use them for your honor, for your glory, Lord. I pray, oh God, that they won't be lacking, oh God, but that they'll be doing it for your honor, for your glory, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Just raise your hands, you'll intercessor. Raise your hands right Levanta now. Su mano Surrender intercesora. to him. Surrender Levanta to him. Mano intercesora. Surrender to him. Rindase a él. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, he's raising up intercessors. Hallelujah. Levanta intercesoras. As long as I know there are intercessors, we're going to be able to do everything that God has called us Mientras to do. It's not going to happen. No va a pasar. Unless there's women that are praying. Al menos que hay mujeres orando. That are interceding. Que están intercediendo. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated tonight. Tome su lugar. Just keep your hearts open. Mantenga su corazón abierto. God is going to raise up teachers of the word of God. Dios va a levantar maestras de la palabra de Dios. We need teachers in the world that know the word of God. Necesitamos maestras que conocen la palabra de Dios. That want to teach children. Que quieren enseñar niños. That want to teach young women. Que quieren enseñar jovencitas. That want to teach women the word of God. Que quieren enseñar mujeres la palabra de Dios. How many know we just can't pray? ¿Cuántos saben que no nomás podemos orar? We have to teach the Ten women. Tenemos que enseñar a las mujeres. We have to teach the children. Tenemos que enseñar a los niños. And God wants to raise up teachers of God's word. Y Dios quiere levantar maestras de la palabra de Dios. We also need administrators. También necesitamos administradoras. The teams that are going out. Los equipos que salen. Every team that goes to a different country. Cada equipo que va a un país distinto. We need an administrator. Necesitamos un administrador. Someone that loves that ministry. Alguien que le fascina ese ministerio. We have a lot of people that want to go out and witness. Hay mucha gente que quiere ir a testificar. And we have some that want to pray. Y hay algunos que quieren orar. But not everybody wants to be an administrator. Pero no todos quieren ser un administrador. We need them. Necesitamos. And if you're called to do that. Y si eres llamada a ser administrador. I pray you'll prepare yourself for that. Yo oro que te prepares para eso. You saw Debbie, in, a Debbie in the video. In el video. She went to school. Ella fue a la escuela. She learned. Ella aprendió. But she wasn't just going to school just to learn. Pero ella no fue a la escuela solo a aprender. She was putting it to practice. Lo estaba poniendo en practica. And today, y hoy, God has used her to do it all over the world. Dios la ha usado para hacerlo por todo el mundo. But it begins. Pero empieza. It, it begins by you. Surrendering yourself to God. Empieza cuando usted se rinde al Señor. And say, Lord, you know I like this kind of ministry. Dile, Señor, me gusta este ministerio. But I don't know too much. Pero no sé mucho. Will you teach me, Lord? E enséñame, Señor. Go to school. Vaya a la escuela. Learn. Prepárese. There's a place for you. Hay un lugar para There's ti. There's a place for you. Hay un lugar para ti. In the ministry. En el ministerio. Then there are those. They're called to be mothers. Y luego hay aquellas que son llamadas a ser mamás. That's not just to be a mother. You can do a lot of things. No, no más ser una mamá que hace muchas cosas. 
you have to do a lot of things y una mamá tiene que hacer muchas cosas. but if you're a mother here tonight Pero si eres una mamá aquí esta noche, I pray that you're going to be the best mother that you could be Mi oración es que seas la mejor mamá posible. I want to see you raise up not ordinary children Yo quiero ver que levantes, no niños ordinarios. we need extraordinary children Pero necesitamos niños extraordinarios. I was reading Billy Graham's mother's book Estaba leyendo el libro de la mamá de Billy Graham. and she was writing that she would pray for him y ella escribía que ella oraba por él. And he was a little boy that didn't do good in school. Y él era un niño que no hacía muy bien en la escuela. They called her in one day. Y un día la llamaron. The principal called her. El principal, el director la llamó. And he, and he told her, your son's not going to pass. Y le dijo, tu hijo no va a pasar grado. Because he's not really a good student. Porque no es un buen estudiante. And she was so broken over that. Y estaba tan quebrantada ella. And, and she continued to pray for him. Y, y siguió orando por él. And then one time. Y luego una vez, that he went to a, a young people's revival back fue then. Un avivamiento de jóvenes. He went to the altar, fue al altar. And he gave his life to the Lord. Y dio su vida al Señor. And he called her up. Y le llamó a su mamá. And he tells her mom. Y le dice, I'm not the same anymore. Ya no soy el mismo. God has done a work in my life. Dios ha hecho un trabajo en mi vida. I have given my life to Jesus He dado mi vida a Jesús I am called of God Soy llamado de Dios At 16 years old A los 16 años de edad And she said that she heard him preach for the first time Y ella dice que lo escuchó predicar por la primera vez That he was preaching Y que él estaba predicando And then he started screaming Y él empezó a gritar And all the family started looking at each other Y toda la familia se empezó a verse el uno al otro What got into this kid Que se le metió a este niño He was just beginning his ministry Él apenas iba iniciando su ministerio She didn't think he was going to amount to much Ella no pensaba que él iba a lograr mucho He was Average to her. Era algo normal para él. That reminds me of Sunny's mother. Y eso me recuerda a la mamá de Sunny. You know what she would say? ¿Sabe lo que ella le decía? She would say, "Oh, Judy, his sister." Oh, uh, Judy, su hermana. You know, she can do anything. Oh, ella puede hacer cualquier cosa. She's brilliant. Ella es brillante. But in front of Sunny, she would say y this. Y enfrente de Sunny lo decía. But Sunny? Pero Sunny? He's average. Oh, él es normal. Average. Él es normal. And he would hear this. Y él escuchaba esto. How many know there's no average in Pastor Sonny? ¿Cuántos saben que Pastor Sonny no es normal? <laughs> but I take you back to Billy Graham's mother. Pero te llevo de nuevo a la historia de la mamá de Billy Graham. Her calling was to raise her children for the Lord. Su llamado era criar a sus hijos en el Señor. You can never get too busy, girls. Nunca puedes estar muy ocupada, eh, eh, hermanas. We have to pray for our children. Tenemos que orar por nuestros hijos. We have to pull them in together and pray with them. Tenemos que traerlos y orar con ellos. We have to give them scriptures Les tenemos que dar versículos. we have to see them saved and serving God Aún tenemos que declarar que van a servir a Dios. I know it's an evil day Yo sé que es un día I know that it's very difficult at times Yo sé que es muy difícil en momentos. but we serve a big God Pero servimos a un Dios grande. I want you to be the best mother that you could possibly be y yo quiero que usted sea la mejor madre que puede posiblemente ser. but at the same time Pero al mismo tiempo, there's more time hay más tiempo. when they're in school Cuando están en la escuela, there's much more that you could do hay mucho más que puedes hacer. and I pray you'll respond to that call que es responder a ese llamado. and thirdly y tercero, the word of God says la palabra de Dios declara, to be filled with the Holy Spirit que seamos llenas del Espíritu Santo. this is the greatest need in the church today y, y es la necesidad más grande de la iglesia hoy en día. to be filled with the Spirit Ser llenas del Espíritu. that's not something that he's asking no es algo que pide. it's a command es un mandamiento. be filled with the Spirit the Holy Spirit Ser llenas del Espíritu Santo. and you can't be effective y no puede ser efectiva. you can't be effective as a mother no puede ser efectiva Como mamá, you can't be effective as an administrator ni como administradora, a teacher ni como maestra, an intercessor como intercesora, in any kind of ministry en cualquier tipo de ministerio, if you are not 
filled with the Holy Spirit. Si no está llena del Espíritu Santo. You, you can't even live a victorious life. No puedes ni vivir una vida victoriosa. You know what the worst sin is? ¿Sabes cuál es el peor pecado? The worst sin that there is. El peor pecado que hay is prayerlessness. Es el no orar. Prayerlessness. El no orar. A woman that has a face of a Christian. Una mujer que tiene rostro cara de cristiana. And you look beautiful. Y te ves hermosa. But you don't pray. Pero no oras. And that makes an ugly leader. Y ese es un lead, una líder fea. That has portrays that she's a Christian. Que, que promueve como que si fuese cristiana. Portrays that she's a leader. Y pone imagen como que es líder. But there's prayerlessness in her life. Pero tiene una vida sin oración. Charles Hummel, a great leader of our time. Charles Hummel, un gran líder de nuestro tiempo. He said this. Él dijo esto. We usually think of murder, adultery, or theft as among the worst. Muchas veces pensamos del asesinato, el adulterio o el robar como lo peor. But the root of all sin Pero la raíz de todo pecado is self-sufficiency. Es cuando alguien se siente autosuficiente. Independent from God. Cuando alguien es independiente you de Dios. You don't need God. No necesitas a I Dios. I could do it on my own. Yo lo puedo hacer yo misma. That's what you're saying when you have prayerlessness. Y es lo que uno dice cuando no ora. You're independent from God. Eres independiente de Dios. The Holy Spirit has a way of wooing us and drawing us. El Espíritu Santo tiene forma de conmovernos y acercarnos. And real prayer is communion with God. Y la verdadera oración es comunión con Dios. I've been very privileged. Yo he tenido el gran privilegio to be behind the scenes de estar detrás del escenario and to see how David Wilkerson lived his life. Y poder ver cómo David Wilkerson vivió su vida. These are our forefathers. Estos son nuestros ancestros. They're the ones that laid the path for us. Son los que abrieron camino para nosotros. When I first went to New York City, cuando yo primero fui a la ciudad de Nueva York, remember he called us into a chapel. Yo recuerdo que nos llamó una capilla. And we were going to be going to the streets. E íbamos a ir a las calles. This was every day. Esto era todos los días. And before we went to the streets, y antes de irnos a las calles, he would say, "We're going to pray." Él decía, "Vamos a orar." Not one hour. No una hora. Not two hours. No dos horas. Sometimes more than two hours we stay there praying. Más de dos horas orando. And he was there with us praying. Y él allí estaba con nosotros orando. I saw it with my own eyes. Yo lo vi con mis propios ojos. I've seen Nicky Cruz. Yo he visto a Nicky Cruz. He has a daily prayer. Él tiene una oración cotidiana. He's got his communion with God. Él tiene su comunión con Dios. Sometimes he calls up my husband. Hay veces le habla a mi esposo. When he's come out of prayer. Cuando ha salido de la oración. He says, "I was praying for you, Sonny." Dice, "Estuve orando por ti, Sonny." I'm praying that God would use you. Orando que Dios te use. These are your forefathers. Estos son sus ancestros. Then I live. With a man that prays. Y yo vivo con un hombre que ora. I love to see him praying. Me fascina verlo orar. It's the most beautiful thing. Es la cosa más hermosa. He prays in the backyard. Él ora en la yarda de atrás. And he prays like this. Y ora así. And I don't ever think I've ever seen him where he doesn't break before God. Y, y, y yo creo que nunca lo he visto que no se quebrante ante Dios. He always is broken before God. Siempre está quebrantado ante Dios. He's so grateful. Está tan agradecido. He has a great prayer life. Él tiene una vida de oración hermosa. And that is why the Lord has done what he's done in this ministry. Y es por eso que Dios ha hecho lo que ha hecho en este ministerio. Because he's learned. Porque ha aprendido. To seek the Lord. A buscar de Dios. Prayerlessness. La vida sin oración. How can you expect to win the world without prayer? ¿Cómo puede anticipar uno ganar el mundo sin la oración? There's different postures in prayer. Hay diferentes posturas en la oración. Sonny prays like this like a little Jewish man. Pastor Sonny ora así como un hombre judío. 
Where you could bow your knees before him. Pero puedes doblar rodilla ante él. Like we did this morning in the gang girl session. Como lo hicimos esta mañana en la sesión de las gang girls. Some of you have problem with your knees. Algunas tienen problemas con sus rodillas. Or when you get down, it's hard to get up. O cuando baja es difícil levantarse. So you don't have to kneel. So no tienes que estar de rodillas. You can lay prostrate before him just lay down Te puedes postrar, acostada. that's another position in prayer es otra posición en la oración. and then Paul said I want men everywhere to lift up holy hands. Y luego Pablo dijo, mi deseo es que hombres santos levanten manos santas. We don't just lift our hands just because we just lift our hands. No, no más levantamos las manos por levantar las manos. It's biblical. Es bíblico. To pray, lifting our hands. Orar, levantando las manos. And Jesus. Y Jesús. He looked up to the Father. We lift our eyes. Él levantaba la vista al Padre. He lifted his eyes. Él levantaba sus ojos. Also, the Psalms say. Be still and be silent before him. También el salmo dice, estate quieto y silencioso ante él. There's also lifting up our voices. También está el levantar tu voz. Some of us really like to lift our voices y when we pray. Y algunos les gusta en verdad levantar su voz cuando oran. Next door to me lives Joe Cotinola. Uh, enseguida de mí vive Joe Cotinola. My husband prays real quiet. Mi esposo ora bien callado. Weeping before the Lord. Quebrantado ante el Señor. Joe Cotinola. Joe Cotinola. He lives next door. Él vive enseguida. The whole neighborhood could hear him praying. Todo el barrio lo escucha orando. He prays every day. Él ora todos los días. And he prays loud. Y él ora fuerte. He lifts his voice to the Lord. Levanta su voz al so Señor. It, it doesn't matter how you pray. Pero no importa cómo oras. You bow your knees. Si te prostras. Or you lay prostrate o before him. Rodilla. Or you lift your eyes to him. O levantas tus or ojos. lift your hands to o him. Levantas tus manos. But that we pray. Pero la cosa es orar. And we have to remember Pero tenemos que recordar that the Holy Spirit que el Espíritu Santo is a, is a person. Es una persona. And he lives within you. Vive dentro de usted. He dwells in you. Él habita en usted. You don't have to call it down. No tienes que derramarlo. He lives in you. Él vive dentro de usted. You have this power within you. Tienes un poder dentro de ti. You don't call him an it. You, no lo llames a él una cosa. No. No. He lives within you. Él vive dentro de ti. And he empowers us. Y él nos apodera. For life service. Para servir en esta vida. As you pray. Conforme oras. If you're a prostrate before him. Si estás postrado. Or if you're kneeling before o him. O de rodillas. Or if you have your hands raised. O tus manos en alto. When you pray, he gives you his heart. Cuando oras, te da su corazón. Fills you with his compassion. Te llena con su compasión. You will love people. Amarás a la gente. You'll love the hurting people. Amarás la gente doliente. You'll love the lost. Amarás al perdido. He anoints you for service. Te unge para servir. There's nothing like walking in the anointing of God. No hay nada como caminar en la unción de Dios. Oh my God, it's a beautiful feeling. Ay Dios mío, es algo hermoso. You get up in the morning. Te despiertas en la mañana. And you're anointed of God. Y estás ungida de Dios. Because you've been seeking Him. Y piensas en él. I pray that you will. Find time. Mi oración es que encuentres tiempo. This week. Esta semana. That you find time. Que encuentres tiempo. To draw close to him. Acercarte a él. And ask him. Y pídele. What is my calling? ¿Cuál es mi llamado? What do you want me to do? ¿Qué quieres que haga? Not just be a mother. No solo ser mamá. Not just be a gang girl. No solo ser gang girl. But there's something specific that you are called to do. Pero hay algo específico que Dios te llama a hacer. I pray that you're going to heed the spirit of God. Mi oración es que prestes atención al espíritu de Dios. Let him show you what he wants you to do. Y permite que te enseñe lo que él quiere. 
My husband was called when he was 22 years old. Mi esposo fue llamado a la edad de 22 años. He was 22 and he was in the home. Tenía 22 años y estaba en el hogar. He was only saved three months. Solo tenía salvo tres meses. But he was prostrate before God. Pero se postraba ante Dios. And as he was there, y conforme estaba allí, the Lord called him. El Señor lo llamó. He called him. El Señor lo llamó. He says, I want to use your life. Dije, quiero usar tu vida. And he gave everything to him. Y le dio todo a él. I remember when I was called of God. Yo recuerdo cuando Dios me llamó a mí. I was 17 years old. Tenía 17 años. I came from a very dysfunctional home. Vine de una familia muy disfuncional. I, I never thought that that God would ever take me. Nunca pensé que Dios me tomara a mí. I was from East LA. Era del este de Los Ángeles. I, I had tattoos Yo, on my hands and on my legs. Tatuajes en mis piernas, en mis manos. I, I was in gangs. Estaba en pandillas. So when God came into my life, así que cuando Dios llegó a mi vida, at 17 years old, a la edad de 17 años, I fell in love. Love with Jesus. Yo me enamoré de Jesús. I fell in love with him. Yo me enamoré con él. He had changed my family. Había cambiado mi familia. He had saved my drug addict brother. Había salvado mi hermano adicto. He had saved my other brother that was an alcoholic. Me salvó mi hermano alcohólico. He had saved my parents that were divorced. Salvó a mis padres que estaban divorciados. They got together again. Y se restauraron de nuevo. He restored my family. Él restauró mi familia. And when he did that. Y cuando él Hizo eso. I gave him my life. Yo le di mi vida. I fell in love. Me enamoré. And then one night, three months saved. Y luego una noche a los tres meses de ser salvo. I was sitting in a meeting. Estaba sentada en una junta. And I was sitting in back. Y estaba sentada atrás. And the preacher started saying. Y el predicador empezó a decir. He was saying, there's somebody here that God is calling. Decía, hay alguien aquí que Dios te llama. Just like he's calling you tonight. Y así como Dios te llama a ti esta noche. Somebody, he, he's calling somebody here. Él, él está llamando a alguien aquí. And I said, it, God calls? Y, I, I didn't know anything. Y yo decía, Dios llama, yo no sabía nada. I, I, how can he, God, big God? Como un Dios grande así? Actually calls people? Eh, eh, llama gente? And I said, they better respond. Y, y ojalá y respondan. You know, remember, I'm tattooed down. Recuerda, you know, yo tengo tatuajes. I'm from the neighborhood. Yo soy del barrio. I don't look it now, huh? Ahora no me veo así. But I was a little cholita. Pero yo era una cholita. And I remember being back there. Y yo recuerdo estar sentada atrás. And the preacher kept saying. Y el predicador decía. God is calling you. Dios te está llamando. And I look up. Y yo volteaba hacia and arriba. And I see people going forward. Y veía gente yendo al altar. And I looked up again. Y volteé arriba otra and vez. And I saw people going forward. Y vi más gente acercarse the, al altar. The last time I lifted my face. Y la última vez que levanté mi cara. I looked and there was nobody else around. Yo vi, ya no había nadie a mi alrededor. They were all at the altar. Todos estaban en el altar. And the preacher kept calling. Y el predicador seguía llamando. I said, Could he want me? Y preguntaba, ¿sería que me llama a mí? I'm just a teenager. Yo soy más que una jovencita. I, I know nothing. Yo no sé nada. And if he's calling me, I'll, I'll go. Y si él me está llamando, yo, yo and, voy. and very sheepishly. Y, 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 y con mucha pena. I, I got up. Me and I began to walk. Y empecé a caminar. And I was embarrassed. Y, y tenía pena. But I went to the altar. Pero fui al altar. And the preacher. Y el predicador. He called me forward. Me llamó. And he said, he put his hand on my head. Y puso su mano sobre mi he says, God has called you. Y dice, Dios te ha a ti. He has something great for you. Tiene algo para ti. Just give everything to Jesus. Solo dale todo a Jesús. And he's going to use your life. Y va a usar tu vida. For his honor, for his glory. Para su honra y su gloria. Oh God. That was amazing to Eso me. Fue algo maravilloso para mí. And when I left there, y cuando me fui de allí, I didn't understand. Yo no entendía. But there was a girl that saw that. Pero había una muchacha que vio eso. And she felt what God was doing in my life. Y ella sintió lo que Dios hacía en mi vida. And she took me 
home with her. Y ella me llevó a casa con ella. She says, Julie, God has called you. Y me dijo, Julie, Dios te ha llamado. And just the way you are, he's Así called como you. estás, Dios te ha llamado. Surrender. Ríndete. And I did. Y lo hice. I did. Lo hice. I gave it everything. Yo le di todo. And tonight, y esta noche, I know God is calling many of you. Yo sé que Dios llama a muchas de ustedes. Maybe you won't go to the foreign field. Quizás no vayas al campo extranjero. Maybe you won't be like Crystal and like Taylor. Quizás no seas como Cristal o Taylor. Or, ta or Chica. Or Chica. But you're going to take your place. Pero vas a tomar tu lugar. There's a place for you. Porque hay un lugar para ti. There's a place for you. Porque hay un lugar para ti. God is calling you. Dios te está llamando a ti. Tell yourself, God is calling me. Dite a ti misma, Dios me llama a mí. He's calling me. Él me llama a mí. The little bit I have to offer, He's calling me. Lo poquito que tengo que ofrecer, me llama a mí. We're going to give it all to Him. Y se lo vamos a dar We're going to give it all to Him. Se lo vamos a dar todo. We're going to give it all. Se lo vamos a dar todo a él. I want you to stand with me de pie conmigo esta noche. We're going to give it all tonight. Se lo vamos a dar todo esta noche. Give it all to him. Se lo vamos a dar todo a él. I can't wait to see what God is going to do through you. Y yo anticipo ver lo que Dios va a hacer a través oh, de ti. Oh, you that are going to be the intercessors. Oh, van a ser las intercesoras. Oh, you take your place. Vas a tomar tu lugar. And those of you that are going to teach the word of God. Y otras van a enseñar la palabra. Those of you that are going to be administrators. Y otras van a ser administradoras. All oh, these different gifts. Y todos estos dones que Dios ha dado. All you have to do. Y lo único que tienes que hacer. Is surrender. Es rendirte. Is surrender. Es rendirte. Just give it all to Him. Déselo todo a And Él. And He will work it out for you. Y Él trabajará todo. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I praise you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I pray that you will call, oh God. That you will make it clear to each one, oh God what you've called them to do, Lord. I pray that they'll take their place. I pray, Lord, you'll raise up women, oh God, so we can take this world for you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your heart tonight. Pon tu mano sobre tu corazón. And let's give it all to him. Y se lo vamos a entregar todo a él. You know that you don't feel like you have much to offer. Quizás sientes que no tienes mucho que ofrecer. Much like me, I felt like I had nothing to offer. Así como yo, yo sentía que no tenía nada que But ofrecer. But God sees the heart. Pero Dios ve el corazón. Man sees the outer appearance, but God sees Hombre the heart. Hombre ve lo externo, pero Dios ve el corazón. I'm going to pray for you right now. Voy a orar por ti ahorita. Lord, I pray for each girl here, Señor, every woman oro por here. Cada hermana aquí. Every one that's presented here tonight. Cada una de ellas que está aquí hoy. I pray, Lord, you'll make the calling clear to them, oh God. Que el llamamiento sea claro, Señor. Whatever you have for them. Lo que tengas para ellas. Many of them you've already spoken to them, oh God. Muchas ya les has hablado, Señor. That they prepare themselves. Que se preparen. To do your work. A hacer tu obra. Some of them will have to go to school, oh God. Algunas irán a la escuela. Some of them, oh God, will have to just get on their knees before you. Algunas se pondrán de rodillas ante ti. But whatever you have, pero lo que tengas, make it clear. Que sea claro. Make it clear to them, oh God. Que sea claro a ellas, that Señor. That they can pursue your will. Que puedan proseguir tu voluntad. I pray that there'll be women that are filled with the Spirit of God. Oro que haya mujeres llenas del Espíritu de Dios. Filled with the Spirit. Llenas del Espíritu. And that you will lead and guide. Y Señor que las guíes, las adiós. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You may come now to Quiero the altar. Quiero que venga. Hallelujah.